All right, boys and girls. Today, we're gonna learn something. We're gonna learn how to float gears in a semi truck. Now, just to preface this, I probably don't know what the hell I'm doing. So, I mean, if it's wrong, uh, tell me in the comments what you do differently, something like that. What you've heard works better or whatever. Um, and yeah, I mean, you're driving your truck, so I mean, if you break your truck, it's not my fault, basically. That's what I'm trying to say here. This is strictly entertainment. Uh, now, I guess the, the way that we can start this off is like the what, why, when, and how of why you float gears. Uh, what is floating gears? So, very simply put, floating gears is shifting gears without using the clutch, which sounds a little difficult, but... And I mean, at first it is, it takes a little bit of a, there's a little bit of a learning curve there, but once you figure out exactly what's going on, and if you know how to double clutch, you could probably float gears. It just feels really weird to not use that left leg for a second, so it takes a little getting used to. But the, so that's our what, what, when, why, and how. Uh, when, when would you float gears? Obviously, when you're, when you have double clutching down, I mean, some guys, I mean, old school guys, they say that they didn't even learn how to double clutch, so, I mean, props to them or whatever, but a lot of us new school guys, we learn to to double clutch, and once you have that down, it's a whole lot easier to learn how to float gears because you kind of understand where gears are at and, you know, how much time you have to wait in between gears, all that stuff, based off of different ratios between gears. <clears throat> what else is it going to put in there? Hmm. Can't remember what, when, why, and how. So why you float gears? A lot of guys, a lot of guys want to make up uh, a bunch of weird excuses for why they float gears, and oh, it protects the transmission if you do it right. And I mean, there's some sense in that. If you're if you're really bad at double clutching, you have a potential of you know screwing up a clutch. You have a potential of blowing out U joints. You know. I mean, maybe even differentials, stuff like that. Just all sorts of weird things can happen, and floating gears can eliminate that if you're good at shifting already. But for the most part, the reason myself why I do it is because it's a whole lot smoother than uh, double clutching. It's really hard to to let the clutch out at the certain at a certain time, especially in the lower gears. It's really hard to catch it at that perfect time where it's not gonna you know, shake the truck up and down. So it's really hard to time like that. So that's that's kind of why I float gears personally. It's, it's just a whole lot easier and a whole lot more comfortable to do. And I mean, if I had to go back to double clutching, I'd probably have, probably have a pretty difficult time of doing it. I haven't done it in a while, but I'm sure you know a couple of weeks I'll be back into it. What was the other part of the why that I wanted to put in there? Hmm. That's all right. Wait at this guy. Um. So, the how. The how part is the most important part. It's probably why you're at this video right here right now. Uh. Basically, the concept behind floating gears, if you want to think about the gears as my fingers here, is when the truck is accelerating, all the gears, so you see how my fingers are pushing against the tops there, all of the gears are pushing together so if you if you're accelerating and you try and pull out of a gear you're not gonna be able to do it it's being held in by all the friction on all those gears and the concept behind floating gears is there's a space when you let off when you let off the gas pedal whatever kind of pedal you want to call it you know what I'm talking about when you let off there's a space right here right in there that's all you're looking for that little space right in the middle there where the gear is free if you wait too long It's gonna be you know hitting hitting the back side of that gear So the concept is is you want to catch it right in between there and basically when you're first learning It's very easy to Just put a little bit of pressure. We're not talking a lot of pressure. We're talking like a finger worth of pressure We're talking like just just a little little pull on it that's all, just to get it out of gear. And when you first start, I don't believe, I don't believe I did this 
but I would highly recommend it, is floating out of a gear and clutching into the gear. And the reason why I say that is because uh, when you're first learning how to float gears, you are going to mess it up. And I did mess it up a couple of times. I did not, I didn't break anything and nothing felt weird about the truck, but I definitely uh, hit some gears and some weird spots. And I mean, there's a potential of breaking stuff anyways, uh, but that, that would have most certainly been my fault if I had, you know, busted off a gear trying to learn how to float gears and there was a couple of times where it probably came close but eventually figured it out float out clutch in then there's there's no uh it, it lessens that risk of you you know really damaging the transmission that's that's basically where I'm getting to here so basically pretty sure that's all I want to put into that section there um I don't believe that there's anything I left out when I have my passenger come back, get some footage for you of just floating gears so you can see exactly what it's looked like and I'll, you know, try to explain myself as we're going along here. Basically just, you know, the the basics of what's going on. Probably not gonna be able to do it uh as quickly as I actually float the gears, but um Yeah, we'll show you a little bit of that so you know what it looks like. And yeah, I mean, hopefully this is entertaining to someone or whatever. And yeah, we'll get to that in a second. Let's crank this thing up. I'm gonna tell you, you gotta start off putting the clutch in. Otherwise, it's obviously not gonna go into gear. Slowly get moving here. You remember what I was talking about with just putting a little bit of pressure on the stick there? We got a little bit of pressure, not much at all. Lift off the fuel. Just slide it right back into the next gear there. Go to the next one, a little bit of pressure. Right into the next gear. And of course, as anyone who's driven a semi-truck knows, is some gear ratios are different than others. So you gotta wait a little bit more time in between certain ones. And if you miss a gear, Go back to the basics, for the love of God, just go back to the basics, wrap it up, put the clutch in, and just try and get back in the gear and get going. So you can see that's all it really takes is that much pressure right there, just to pop it out of gear. Ninth gear here, 40 miles an hour. Probably going to have to wait to get around this corner and get up to the next gear, but... I think y'all get the idea. All right, so as far as downshifting goes, um, it's the same concept as going up, where you just a little bit of pressure, and then once you, once the gear, or once you let off the pedal, the gear will come out. When you're in neutral, you gotta rev it up to make it down to that next, or make it up, rather, to that next gear ratio. So we're slowing down right here. Got my engine brakes on. We're gonna make a corner and then come up to a stoplight. A little pressure on the stick, rip it up, right to the next gear. You never, ever, ever, in any circumstance, want to force a gear in, and that's most likely going to happen when you're going down because you're going to probably miss it when you first start out. So don't, don't ever force a gear in. The most pressure that you really want to ever put on a gear is like a couple of fingers worth, just real, real soft, nothing crazy. Another one. Get another one. There's nothing too crazy. Just making sure that you're out of the gear when you rev it up. And making sure that you're not getting into that gear too hard when you're going to the next gear. 